guys, welcome to today's video. Fun fact, I was going through my closet today to see what I should put on and I found this shirt. I wore this during my very first video so I had to put it on again today. But anyway, today I thought it'd be fun to show you what I have been buying through the month of January because I have been spending a lot. I had a little money left over from the holidays as well as a Christmas bonus. I didn't actually have a Christmas bonus, I just thought it sounded nice. Anyway, I purchased from Sephora, Ulta, Birchbox, as well as Tatcha's website. So I'm gonna take you through and show you starting with Sephora. So I have made three separate purchases from Sephora this month. I am so bad. The thing that's always gets me is the gift with purchase. You have to spend 25 to 35 normally to get that gift with purchase. And what I always want is usually $24. So then I have to go on and add more and then they come out with an even better gift with purchase the next week. It always happens to me. Uh, but anyway, I'm not gonna show them separately. I'm gonna do all my orders together and then I will show you the gifts with purchase at the end. I have some weird kind of dental care items to show you, but I have to include them. Them. Marvis toothpaste is one of my favorites. They are an Italian brand. I love having the packaging out on my counter. It is so pretty and of course they are cruelty free. So this one is the licorice flavor and I have purchased this one the most. Oddly enough, I don't really like licorice, especially the candy, but there's something about this. It's so refreshing. When I have like traditional toothpaste with a peppermint flavor, I'm not a big peppermint fan. I feel like it almost makes your eyes sting. It's very strong, very overwhelming. And I am such a coffee fiend that I cannot have anything inter interrupt my coffee drinking abilities. And you know when you go to take a sip of coffee after your toothpaste and it tastes disgusting? This does not do that. So it is well worth the 1050 that it is in my book. And then this is the Cocoa Floss, uh, Floss in Orange. I had said, I believe in an empties video, I had the coconut one. I didn't know if I would repurchase it, but I did go ahead and get another one just because I did like it. Um, and I needed to spend just a little bit more money to get my gift with purchase. And then also too, it is hard to find a cruelty-free floss at the drugstore. So I did get another one of these. And then I have a couple items from Milk. So this is the Kush Fiber Brow Gel in Dutch. Of course, I had to get another one. I am currently scraping the insides of my old one trying to get the last bits out. So I had to get this one before I run, ran out. I love this. I feel so lazy because I'm not changing up my brow game at all. I really do try. I'll try something else and I'm like, nope, it doesn't beat it. This is just so quick. I love how it holds my brows in place. I feel like it deposits just the right amount of color, like it's not too much. It's very buildable and I love this and I will continue to purchase this. And it's a pretty good price point, it's $18. And then I also got this, I got another liner from them. This is the Long Wear Gel Eyeliner in Boss. It is a black eyeliner. I have the nude one currently, I want all of them. The nude one lasts on my waterline for so long and I have been so impressed with it. So I'm hoping the black does the same. It's really hard to find a good black liner that stays in the waterline all day, nice and black. So I will report back on this one and I cannot wait to use this. This one I already use, it is a Fenty Stunna Lip Paint and this is in the shade Unbutton. This is the fourth one I have now. I don't know if I'm gonna get the fifth one that is like a chocolate brown and I just don't think it would look really good on me. I feel like it would probably make my teeth look a little bit more yellow than they already are. So this is like a peachy nude kind of shade. Very pretty. I've worn this once, it lasted very well, just like the other ones. If they come out with more of them, I will keep buying them. I love this formula. It's very thin, so it takes a little bit of time to get used to, but I think the thinness of the formula is what allows it to feel like you have nothing on your lips. It lasts a very long time, so I love these, and the bottle is so pretty. I love having them all out on display. And then I got some skincare items. I believe it was bonus points for skincare items when I bought this. So this is Neogen Dermology Daylight Protection Sunscreen and SPF of 50. I needed a new sunscreen for as high as an SPF as this has. It has very good reviews. I feel like sometimes the higher the SPF, the more chalky something is, the more tacky it feels on the skin. So I'm hoping this doesn't do that. And judging from the reviews, I don't think it will. I really love the exfoliating peel pads that I have. There's a lemon one, so I'm very happy with them. I've just been really into this brand, trying to do some more investigating because I would like to try more products. I did also purchase their micellar water. Sephora let me buy it, and then I saw that it was refunded later on, and I guess it went out of stock. So I think it's back now. Now, maybe I'll have a fourth purchase this month. George would kill me, I can't do that. Uh, but I do wanna pick that up as well soon. So I will let you guys know how this works. And then I also got this from Mario Badescu. I am so happy that they are finally at Sephora's website. I currently purchase them from Ulta, but it's nice to have that option. So this is the drying lotion. This has been around for very long. I actually remember seeing this in like teen magazines when I was younger. 
and I think it's like their call it product that they have. So from what I understand from the directions, there's this calamine kind of formula at the bottom. So you don't shake it up or anything. You just dip a Q-tip in and apply it like a spot treatment to pimples. So I'm hoping this works well. I currently use the Super Mud Mask from Glam Glow. And of course they are not cruelty free. So I'm trying to finish that up. So I'm hoping to replace this with that as a spot treatment. So I'm hoping this works well for blemishes. And then lastly, I got the Seven Virtues Perfume. This is Rose Amber. This is a fairly new brand to Sephora. And I was kind of doing some research trying to figure out what perfume I wanted to get. So one Rose Amber is a very good combo for me, but they just do great things. There is an ingredient in each perfume that is sustainably sourced from around the world and they help to build communities. So this one specifically says, this perfume builds communities. Farmers earn twice the income with our rose oil purchases so they don't have to grow the illegal poppy crops. So very cool. I felt good about supporting this brand. They also have the little clean seal at Sephora. I have to show you guys the packaging because it's so pretty. It will be replacing my non-cruelty free perfume back here. So this is the bottle. How pretty is that? I love it. It's very simplistic, but very classy at the same time. So this one says it has rose in it, amber, as well as bergamot. It says oh, it's awakening and energizing, evokes a sense of well-being and stimulating feelings of love and romance. So that sounds lovely. Can't wait to use this. I actually ordered it uh, probably a week previously and I got it in the mail and I went to go spray it and I was just spraying it like a hundred times and it would not come out. So I had to email them. They sent me a new one. I sent the old one back. So I'm finally happy to have this. They do have something on their website too called the Peace Box on Sephora's website rather. It's called the Peace Box and you can try a sampler of all their perfumes, I believe for $28. So I will probably be buying that one next. I'm not going to go through and show all of my samples, but I have to show you this one. I was panning the Naked Skin Color Correcting Fluid in pink, and I had said in that video that I wanted to try the peach and the green one next. Look what they did for me. I mean, it's just for me. All for me. <laughs> so I can't wait to use these. I will probably put this into a first impression, giving that a try out to see if it helps with these dark under eye circles. And then as for the gifts with purchase, I had to get this from Drunk Elephant. So this is very new. This is the retinol cream with 1% retinol. I probably won't try this till after we get back from vacation. From what I understand, retinol can be very drying on the skin. It can make it very flaky. And I don't want that to happen while on vacation. And especially with like sun sensitivity too. So I won't try that one yet. It also came with the B Hydra Intensive Hydration Serum. That I know you can mix with a lot of other things. So that's probably why it's included to take some of that sting away from the product. So this product too, I have heard good things about. I've also heard that it's not really worth it for the money. It's like an extra hydration kind of seal on the skin, but I will give them a try out more towards the end of February, early March. And then I got this from Glow Recipe. This is the Avocado Melt Sleeping Mask. I currently have the watermelon lotion. I think that's what it's called. It's the thinner one in the bottle. I love that. I also have the sleeping mask and that one I just don't really feel like it does much. It's a very thin formula, although it does smell like Jolly Ranchers, but I wanted to try this one because it looks a little bit thicker. So this is like a thick kind of consistency and it looks like it's more adapted to my skin type and it smells, is that, let's take a little bit out. It's very light. It doesn't smell like avocado. Just a very fresh kind of uh, clean smell. It's nice though, so I'm looking forward to using this one. Okay, this is the reason I had to buy. Uh, I can't wait to try this. I think I'm gonna put it into a first impression that I am filming later on in the week. So this is the Vanish Seamless Finish Liquid Foundation. I have the foundation stick and I absolutely love it. That one is in the shade Porcelain, so I think this is gonna be a little bit darker for me. Uh, this one is called Shell and it was the lightest that they had. They had five different options. So I'm looking forward to trying this. If I love this just as much as the foundation stick, I will definitely be purchasing the full size. So I'm hoping that I enjoy this. Moving right along to Ulta. So with my Ulta purchase, I had some reward money saved up. So that's what all of this is. It felt good to finally spend it. I try to be wise and really shop only during the five times the points or 10 times the points, or sometimes they just do extra points in certain items. So that's when I always shop. So it felt good to finally spend it and free money is always great. Although I technically earned it, but whatever it, uh, it felt good to spend it. So this is the Catrice Prime and Fine Dewy Glow Fixing Spray. I am starting with some of my restocks. I love this, definitely a favorite product of last year. 
I am currently panning MAC Fix Plus and when that's gone, this is all I'll probably be using because I love it so much. It is beautiful on the skin too. It just does something to the skin. I put it on today because now I can be a little bit more liberal with it now that I have another one. And I love this. Always out of stock so I had to pick up another one. I'm going to get like five of them after this just so I never run out of it. I wish they would make just a little bit bigger of a bottle. And then from Too Faced, I got the Better Than Sex uh, and Diamonds Mascara. This was the limited edition one. I, they currently still have it. I think it is Ulta exclusive, but I have to show it to you guys. My old one was drying out and I needed a good excuse to buy this one because it is so pretty. I cannot wait to put it in my little mug where I store my mascaras. I'm pretty much obsessed with this. And then I got another setting spray, but this one's from Morphe. It's the Continuous Setting Mist. Yeah, that's what it's called. I thought, I thought that's what it was. Um, I have heard nothing but rave reviews about this, especially the mister on it and how fine it is. So I can't wait to use this. I will definitely put this into a first impression. And for a setting spray, I thought it was like a nice price. I think it's $16. Most of the ones I like are in the $20 to $30 range and they seem so wasteful because you use them all the time. So I like the price point too and I cannot wait to use this one. And then finally, I got another Juvia's Place palette. This is the Magic Mini. I already opened it just to make sure it wasn't broken. But what, ha what happened with these is I was with my sister in Alta when she was home for Christmas. And we were looking at the Juvia's Place display. And I was like, I want that one, that one, no, that one, that one, that one. Like I could not decide. So I went home and thought about it a little bit more. And I settled on this one. It has the plastic cover. So here are the colors inside. I just love them. I think it's so beautiful. This shade right here, it's kind of like a periwinkle purple. It's called Faso. Beautiful. Stunning. I can't wait to have that on my face. And I'm not really a blue fan despite what's on my nails right now. Uh, but this is the one that most intrigued me. This one too reminds me of like a mermaid. It's like that sea green kind of color. Almost aqua. And then this rich orangey red kind of shade also I can't wait to have on my lids. But all of it's beautiful. So I'm looking forward to using this. If you guys want to see it in a video, do let me know below. And then just a couple more items. So this is the Stila Little White Lies Liquid Eyeshadow, also exclusive to Ulta. They had, I think, five or six Little White Lies collections. So this is in the shade Mint Myth. And I'm going to swatch it just to show you guys. So this one I bought with the excuse of my sister's wedding. My uh, bridesmaid's dress is on the Matron of Honor, actually. It sounds so bad, like you're old, you're the Matron of Honor, not the Maid of Honor. But anyway, so my dress is mint colored. So this one I had to have very pretty it shows up way more in the camera than it does on my hand it's not super opaque it just kind of leaves a little bit of something cannot wait to use this one either i have this is my 13th one or my 14th one i just love this formula so very much and then i also got a nail polish i mentioned before i pretty much threw away all my non cruelty free nail polishes so this one of course it says it's 100 percent vegan and cruelty free and seven free uh, this one is gray and has like a green purpley kind of shift to it. It's in the shade Abalone. I've already worn it and I have to say it didn't last super long on my nails. I think about three days. I'm going to have to try it with this different top coat to see if it works any better. And, but it's definitely cheaper than the Smith & Colt that I have currently been loving. So I'll probably pick up a couple more shades just to see how they last and then also just try it with a different top coat. And lastly, I got the Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer. This is supposed to be pore filling. I don't really have a good pore filling primer right now. Now, from what I understand you don't need a lot of it I've been wanting this for a while now and it's like 36 bucks 38 bucks it's pretty pricey uh, so I had to pick it up with my reward money because I've had this on my list for like I don't know probably a year now so the next few items are all going to be from Birchbox I do have to say if you haven't actually looked on their website before or explored what they have I definitely encourage you to because they have a ton of brands on there and then also too they just have a really good sales section and they always have promotions going on so like 10 off of 50 20% off of skincare there's always something going on and you don't actually have to get the little subscription box in order to shop with them I actually just unsubscribed I was kind of sad because I was doing it for so long but I've had it for like six probably six or seven years but I felt like they just stopped really sending me what I actually wanted and then two I have a lot of samples uh, but I'm gonna start with this set that I got on sale so this one was $48 and I want to say I got it on sale for $34. It's a clean reserve sampler set of uh, six different perfumes. 
I, again, have been wanting to try out some new perfumes and replace some of my non-cruelty-free ones. And what I love about this is, one, the little bottles are huge. I, of course, tried them all and smelled them all, and they all smell magnificent. I love them. But the bottles are really big. And then also, too, they're sprayers. I don't really like roller balls. I like something I can actually spray on. So hopefully with this set, I will be able to determine which one I like best, and I can go ahead and pick up another one. And then I got some nail polish kind of items or nail care items. So... I got this from Smith & Cough and I'm already wearing it on my nails. This is my fifth one. Yeah, I love these polishes. They last really long. So this is the color Exit the Void. And I've had this on for probably about five days and I've just had like one little chip, which I think is pretty good. And then I also got a nail polish remover. Of course, the one I currently have is not cruelty free, so I want to replace it. It is four ounces. I'm gonna have to look at my old bottle because of course they're curved. So this probably is pretty similar, but this says it smells like lavender. I smelled this yesterday. And I kind of smell bubbles, like the traditional ones you blow when you're a kid. That's what it smells like to me. Not necessarily lavender, so we'll have to see when I actually use it if it leaves that lavender scent on the nails. But it's definitely more pleasant than traditional nail polish remover. Next up is Tatcha, and this was my first time actually buying from their website directly. I usually get my items from Sephora. But what happened was, is I was on Instagram and they were doing a promotion that was spend 100 and then you get this $100 lucky bag, just like the one I just opened from Beautylish. I'll go ahead and link that up here. But it's in the style of Bukuro Bukuro, the Japanese New Year tradition. So you get this little mystery bag with your order and I had to take advantage. Of course, we're about to go away, so I needed a couple more items to take with me, or at least that's what I told myself. I got some ridiculous things and you guys are gonna judge me, but this was probably the least ridiculous one. So I got the Starter Ritual Kit. Uh, this one comes with the Pure One Step Camellia Cleansing Oil, also comes with the Rice Polish Classic, which I can't wait to try. The Essence, which is $95, it's on my Sephora wish list. I keep hearing YouTubers rave about it, so I'm curious to see if it's worth the $95. And it also comes with a mini size of the Silk Cream, which I already use and know I love, so I thought it'd be nice to have a little one. And then I also got a little body butter, so this is the Indigo Soothing Body Butter. I think they have two different types. I was reading on the back of this one, so this is supposed to be for sensitive skin, and I do have eczema, so I thought it'd be nice to try. There's a little story, so it says, in our travels, we learned of the deeply soothing and comforting powers of Japanese indigo. The botanical was beloved by samurai who wore indigo dyed cotton beneath their armor to help he heal injured skin. So I thought that was really cool. I think all of their products have a little story on them. And the bottle or the little jar is blue and it smells, I already smelled it. It smells like all of Tatcha's skincare, which is like a lovely like spa-like type of scent. I don't even know how to describe it. It's very nice, it's soft, and then the actual lotion itself is blue, so I thought that was kind of cool. I'm looking forward to using this one. And I have to say, everything came packed so beautifully. It was very exquisite, it felt very luxe opening it. So I also got, you guys are gonna think I'm fucking ridiculous for this one, this is the one I was talking about. Um, I got a little hand mirror, but I have to show you how it came packed. So it had this little piece of paper around it that I just thought was so pretty. I will probably hoard this just like I do with my normal paper. I was saying that in another video. I will probably put that either into my bullet journal or like my regular journal. And then you take that off and then you get your hand mirror inside. I think this was $40. Don't judge me too much. I have been looking for a really nice hand mirror to use when I'm filming. I just thought this one was so pretty. It seems very sturdy, well-crafted, um, and I believe it's also handcrafted, but the mirror is really nice and large, so I thought it would be good for filming. So I'm not always up here with a palette, so I had to have this one. I've been searching for a nice hand mirror for a while, so when I saw this, I had to do it. See, look, there's a handwritten note with my bill on the other side. It says, Dear Kayla, your joy is a gift to us. Always touch us. So very sweet. I love that that's included in there. I have to say, you guys are going to laugh at me, but my second, I think it was my second or third video, I did like an Instagram kind of post about it and I tagged Tatcha. They were the first brand to ever like and comment on one of my posts. And I don't know, when you're a new YouTuber and you're kind of figuring everything out, that means a lot. And it's also just like a really smart marketing tool because now I feel even more connected to them. I don't know, that's how I feel. I just, I really like Tatcha. They also sent me over some samples, sent me over, I picked them out. Uh, there's a silk cream. I already know I love that. A pure one-step camellia cleansing oil. And then also the Luminous Deep Hydration Firming Eye Serum, which I've also really been wanting to try. And then to get into my lucky bag, I got the Luminous Dewy Skin Mask. It's a sheet mask, so I'm sure I will enjoy this one. Haven't used that sheet mask before. I also got the Luminous Deep Hydration Firming Serum. 
as well as I got the Deep Cleanse. And this one, yeah, it says it's for normal to oily skin. It has clarifying Japanese loofah fruit extract in it. Uh, but I will give it a try maybe on days that my pores feel a little clogged or if I'm extra sweaty or it's hot outside. I'll give this a try for those days that I do need a deep cleanse. And then I also got, I was very excited about this one. This is the Deep Hydration Firming Eye Serum. So I got that little sample I picked out and then I got a nice deluxe size sample. This will probably last me to at least three to four weeks because eye creams tend to go a really long way. And then this one's funny because I got a pure One Step Camellia Cleansing Oil. So now I have three. Hopefully I like it. I usually use the Pharmacy Green Clean Cleansing Balm, so it will be a nice kind of change up for me. Because now I have this one. I think the one in the kit is a little bit smaller, and then I have a sample size too. So I will report back on all of the Tasha goodies. I think I'm going to do like a full week, maybe two weeks of Tasha, just to see kind of how it does on my skin. Because I would be curious to do like a one brand skincare kind of thing, because I haven't done that in a really long time. Before I finish this out, I saw my friend Jackie last week and we have been friends forever and she gave me my uh, Christmas present and it was a lot of beauty care kind of items so I thought you guys would like to see them. She gave me a couple items from Earth Therapeutics and I've never tried this brand before, or at least I don't remember trying them before. So this is the Dead Sea Mineral Clay Mask. It says it's rejuvenating and it has retinol and collagen so that sounds very nice. And then there's also these little matching towelettes. So these are coming on my trip with me. And then she gave me some bath goodies. I love baths. This guy is so cool. I have in my bathroom three different glass jars. And it's the first thing I did when we moved into this house. It looks really pretty. It's nice to kind of display all my bath bombs and bubble bars. So she gave me this bath bomb. It smells so good. I can't quite pick up what it is. It's kind of floral, kind of sweet. But he's just really cool looking at the little skull. And then she also gave me this little kit. They all smell the same. So this one has bath salts, a massage bar, a candle, and a soap in it. So I'm looking forward to using this and having like a little spa day for myself. Anyway, I do hope you guys enjoy this video and seeing all the money I've spent in January. But really what this is about is you guys can kind of see what's on the docket for future videos. So if there's an item I mentioned that you want to know more about, I can do a full on review. I can put it into like a get ready with me or a first impression. Do let me know what you want to know about below. Uh, if you haven't yet already, please go ahead and subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I thank you for watching. I appreciate you and I will see you soon.